everyone. I hope you're all doing well. For today's video, I'm going to show you a fun game that you can play with the people in your home and even on video calls. So it's called Mad Libs. And for those um, that don't know what Mad Libs are, they're, it's basically a word game where one player prompts the others for a list of words to substitute for blanks in a story before reading aloud. So you would have all of these blanks and underneath the blanks would be different parts of speech. So you could have nouns, have verbs, you can have ex exclamation, you can have, um, you know, more even more specific categories like profession, you know, anything like that. So the player would ask the others, you know, to give them a word and they could write it down. Um, so Mad Libs comes in different formats. So you can have the books, you can have the app and there are different worksheets. So. Um, I'm, I'm going to show you the app and the worksheets. Um, I don't have the books, so I can't really show you, but you can find the books on any website, really. You can go on Amazon, you can go on Walmart if you wanted to purchase them. They're fairly affordable. Um, I think I when I saw it, it was around $5 for a book, um, but if you didn't want to pay for it, then there's you know apps and worksheets that I'm going to show you where you can find it. But basically, you just put it, input all of the words that they um, gave you, and then you would read the story. So I'm going to show you how it works, and then hopefully you like it. So here's the app, Mad Libs. So as you can see, there's automatically two storybooks already on here. Um, if you wanted to get more, you would go down here and you would click on Shop the bookstore and then you have all of these other different ones that you can choose from but so let's go on that one they're usually a dollar 99 so if you wanted to buy these you can but let's just stick to the two that are already here so you can go to that one and then you can scroll down and then you can pick um you know whichever one you wanted to read so let's do albert einstein and then you would start typing here. So if you're doing this on video calls, you can um, ask whoever you're talking to to tell you the celebrity mail. So I'm gonna kind of fill this out and then it's gonna form a really fun story. So I'm gonna do that right now. After I'm putting all of the information it needed, like your nouns, names, locations, adjectives, stuff like that, um, it inserts where it's supposed to go so you can read the story you created. So I'm going to read a few of the sentences. Um, so Albert Einstein, the son of Zac Efron and Selena Gomez, was born in Ulm, Germany in 1879. In 1902, he had a job as assistant table in the Swiss patent office and attended the University of Zurich. There he began studying atoms, molecules, and bottles. As you can see, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but it's supposed to be fun, entertaining, you can be as creative as you want. And when you go back, you can also do other stories or you can actually go back and replay it. So you can probably have someone else do the same story, see what they come up with. Uh, it's just really fun. It's really entertaining. And yeah. And Hope you enjoy this game. It's only on iOS devices like your iPhone and iPad. So unfortunately, if you have an Android phone, you won't be able to play with this. But um, there's going to be different worksheets that you can probably find online. And then I'll show you if you don't have a phone and you still wanted to play. So well, here is another option if you didn't want to play on your phone or you don't have access to Mad Libs on your phone because it's only for iOS devices, you can always go to woojunior.com and then I can link this in the description box so you don't have to go searching for it. You can just click on it to get to this page. So there's so many different categories that you can go through and click on whatever one that interests you. So I'm going to go to the spring and summer section and then they have a few different stories here. So there's summer trip, um, there's a pizza one, there's pretty princess, you know, whatever story you want to play with. So I'm going to click on visiting the zoo and then up here you see that there's an option if you wanted to print but if you didn't want to print that's okay you can always write down the words um, that you the other person tells you down on a piece of paper so that way um, you can just you know read it along 
instead of printing it out. It kind of saves you on ink if you don't have ink or paper, you know, stuff like that. So yeah, that's basically another way that you can play Mad Libs. There's tons of different websites you can probably go to if I just like this one because there's already so many different ones that you can choose from within the different sections, which is really great. So. So here's a list of words that I had asked my brother and if you weren't printing it out you can always read it this way so I'm going to read a few of the sentences. So the zoo is a metallic place to learn about different types of mattresses. There are yellow animals and indigo animals there. So you know as you can tell, I didn't tell my brother um, what the topic was or any of the sentences because you kind of want to keep that a secret until after you get all of the words so you can reveal it as you're reading. So it's pretty interesting and in what you come up with. It's really a great way for them to be creative and come up with their own things, you know, whatever you want. It's really fun making up your own stories as well. So if you wanted to, you can create a story or you can have the kids create a story and then erase the different parts of speech. This is a really fun and creative game. So, you know, make it however you want. Yeah, try it out.